not prepared to spend $700 on a graphics card? Find $450 a bit too steep as well. Perhaps I can interest you in a $300 graphics card then. Yes, today NVIDIA is announcing their new GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card and with it they're targeting GTX 980 like performance. The great news here is that while the Founders Edition might cost $300, the board partner cards will be selling for as little as $250, just $10 more than the 8GB RX 480. Unfortunately, while I have a GTX 1060 on hand, I can't reveal the benchmark results until July 19th, when the card goes on sale. Today, Nvidia is simply announcing that the GTX 1060 is coming. They've allowed me to share the specs, price and give you a look at the card itself. Codename GP106, this new GPU features 1280 CUDA cores, which is 33% fewer than the 1070. The good news here is those CUDA cores are still clocked really high. Out of the box they'll operate at 1.7GHz, though Nvidia says like the 1070 and 1080, they can easily be overclocked to operate at 2GHz. Nvidia also says across the top gaming titles, the GTX 1060 is on average 15% faster and over 75% more power efficient than the closest competitive product. Presumably they're talking about the Radeon RX 480 here, but we won't know for sure until the 19th. When compared to the 1070, the memory bus has been downgraded. It's just 192 bit wide now, but does utilize the same 8 gigabit per second GDDR5 memory. The slimmer memory bus has reduced the memory bandwidth by 25% to 192 gigabytes per second. Because the memory interface has been downgraded, the 1060 doesn't come loaded with an 8 gigabyte buffer, and instead we find 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 on board, which in my opinion is a more suitable memory capacity anyway. Comparing the PCB designs of the RX 480 and 1060, we find that both cards appear very similar. The 1060 features two less memory chips due to its 6 gigabyte capacity versus the 8 gigabytes capacity of the RX 480. The power delivery is also a lot lighter, using a basic 3 plus 1 phase design. Of course, the 1060 is expected to consume less power, Nvidia are quoting a power usage of just 120 watts. The Founders Edition card features a 6 pin 75 watt PCI Express connector, which, when combined with the 75 watts that can be drawn from the PCI Express slot, should give the 1060 plenty of headroom for overclocking. I should mention that the 6 pin connector on the Founders Edition card isn't attached directly to the PCB, and instead, Nvidia has relocated it towards the end of the graphics card, which seems to be purely for aesthetics. Although the 1060 is expected to consume less power than the RX 480, we find that Nvidia has included a slightly larger and much better quality heatsink on their Founders Edition graphics card. The heatsink itself isn't just larger, but it also boasts a much bigger copper base. There are more fins as well, as Nvidia has gone for a thinner fin design. The heatsink also features a steel cover on top to help direct the air through it and out the back of the case. Interestingly, there's a second, smaller heatsink at the rear of the graphics card which isn't attached to anything other than the aluminium fan shroud. Yes, that's right, even the fan shroud has been constructed from an alloy. Installed in the little Thermaltake F1 suppressor, the GeForce GDX 1060 Founders Edition looks right at home. Sadly, while I do have two 1060s on hand, SLI isn't supported. I was very much looking forward to comparing the RX 480 Crossfire cards to the 1060s in SLI, but unfortunately that isn't going to happen. Anyway, make sure you stay tuned as I'll be throwing over 20 games at the 1060 and putting together the usual data analysis. Come the 19th, I wonder if the RX 480 will still be the cost per frame king. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm your host Matt as always, and I'll see you guys next time. YouTubers like me depend on your support to continue improving the quality and content of our videos. To support the channel directly, consider becoming a patron to also get access to a heap of cool rewards and exclusive giveaways. Also, don't forget you can check prices and buy the products I looked at in this video through the Amazon links in the video description below. Thank you kindly for supporting me and the Hardware Unbox channel, it means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it, and in return I'll continue to work as hard as I can to keep producing the content you enjoy.